It's such a nice day out. I don't know what it is, but it's got to be damn near 60. So I don't have anything too horribly exciting going on today. Um, I had to... Well, let me show you this real quick. I got this compressor and I got it reconditioned, it said, for like half the cost at Home Depot, but I bought the three-year warranty. Well, it turns out it was leaking out of that fitting there. It was leaking out of that fitting there. And it was taking like 20 minutes to fill up from empty, which I have no idea why it would do that. Um, but the leaks I could fix, no big deal. But I wasn't messing with it, so I took it back up to Home Depot and I showed them the receipt. I bought it like three and a half weeks ago and they said, it's under 90 days, just go grab a new one. So now instead of the reconditioned one, I got a brand new one. And I brought it home, hooked it up, works great. I have it tied into this old line I had there and run across and then I have it hooked up to this hose reel here that I can just pull out now and do whatever I need to do with it but anyway so I got that done and the next thing I do is this blower rack backpack blower rack now I told you guys before my original idea was I was going to somewhere cut it off right there so I had two of them and they were both lower and they both would be down low but I decided I'm just gonna leave it the way it is for now. Um, and I'm going to put it right here. I took the weed whacker string rack off that was there. I'm gonna move that up to right here. And I'm just gonna bolt it on for now. I know I had it welded on before. I'm just gonna bolt it for now because I think what I'm gonna eventually do is if I end up being real happy with those equipment defender trimmer racks, I'm just going to buy an equipment defender backpack rack. Um, if it turns out I don't like them, then maybe I'll try the Green Touch backpack rack, but I don't know, it's all preference, and I know everyone's going to say go this way or go that way, but none of that's going to matter to me anyway. It's going to come down to um, with, whether or not I'm happy with those equipment defender racks. So anyway, let's get this put on. I'ma let you go away. I'm tired of the pain. Go. Normally I have it the other way, so you just hang them on the front. But I kind of like the idea of having them this way. So let's grab one and see how it's going to work. And that's it. This hangs out a little bit, but no big deal. Doesn't hang out that far. And goes right on there. So, plenty of room on the bottom. So that'll work. Now, let's put this trimmer rack on. If any of you guys are wondering, yes, I do have step drill bits. But the way it was taught to me many years ago by an old timer, was to start with a smaller bit and work your way up. And plus, I don't use step drill bits because one of my subscribers that drives them crazy that I don't use them, and I think that's funny.
Yeah, I guess I had my I just want to show you guys real quick. See these drill bits? This is a cheap set. It's the more expensive set from Harbor Freight than the other ones, but it is a cheap Harbor Freight set of drill bits. I bought these things about six months ago and I just needed a set of bits real quick. I was doing some project, I don't know. You know what I think it was? I, it was when I was putting that snow deflector on the top of my plow. And I have multiple sets of Milwaukee drill bits, okay? And they have just taken a beating over the years. They actually, I don't think I even got a year out of either set. They just uh, never lasted that long. And I've, uh, I've used all different kinds. Ryan has a really good set of Bosch ones. I've used his DeWalt ones are pretty good, but him and I both have had issues with drill bits over the years. We drill through a lot of stuff. Um, but that set of Hercules bits, I've drilled through stuff I probably had no business drilling through, and they ate right through it without an issue. Um, and that's without spraying any cutting oil on them or on the areas I'm drilling or anything. Um, they've just drilled without issue and they keep on going time and time again. So for the $19.99 I spent on them, I would definitely buy another set. You guys know my opinion. Harbor Freight's like fishing in the toilet, but those drill bits are definitely worth it. Like I said, I've drilled through a lot of steel and they've never let me down yet. Really good set. Now here's my idea. Hear me out. Any of you boozers know what I'm talking about. You see this here? This used to be for draft beer. It screws on the thing and they pull it down, right? But it broke off there. Don't ask me how I got this. Anyway, my idea. I want to get that out of there, the wood that was in there, and I'm thinking I could probably drill that out, right? And then, I'm going to clean this up so it looks pretty nice. Not that it's not just going to get dirty again anyway. This is my idea. I want to unscrew that knob and put this on there. And I think that that would look pretty cool. So we're going to try it. It might work. It might not work. But I'm going to try it anyway. Bad days, but it doesn't mean I lost my sight. Where were you when my heart was on the ground? I thought time would prove that you would stick around. I guess time starts a king without his crown. Now I'm breaking, you're faking, girl. You never made us out. I didn't want to drill the hole out too big because I didn't want to be all floppy on there, but it looks like I need to go a little bit bigger. Now, I'm not going to be able to thread this on there, but I have another idea. Hey, I'm tired of the it's on there. I think it looks super cool. A little goofy, maybe. Definitely different. Nobody else will have one anything like it. I think it's pretty neat. And, uh... I got it to screw on there, I drilled a little bit more at a time, but what I'm gonna do is, Ryan has this glue stuff, it's called Goop, and he swears by it, it works on everything. As a matter of fact, that's how we put the um, emblems and the window louvers back on the dually. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of that from him, and uh, or I'll just go buy a tube, and I'm gonna squeeze a little bit into the hole of the ball there and then I'll screw it on and I'll let it harden up and that thing will never come off there until I really want it off um, but that is super cool anyway I like it I may uh, if anything ever happens to that one then I may just get another baseball a regular one um, I have a whole bucket of them back there like 50 of them that we use for batting practice for my son that plays baseball and uh, I'll drill no and I'll put it on there and I think it'll be cool but anyway, more goofy things that I come up with um, in the off season. Uh, this is just stuff I do, I guess. <laughs> Keep myself busy, but uh, I think it'll be pretty funny. I've actually had that for like two years, and I've had the plan to do that, and I don't know why I never did it. I just didn't, but either way, now it's done, good or bad.